GPS dodged a bullet when the axle came off one of its school buses as it drove down a busy Albuquerque street today. There were no kids on board, but the bus driver wasn't so lucky. Turns out he had meth on him, but we'll probably never know if he was high on meth when his bus was full earlier in the morning. News 13's Tina Jensen explains why. Tina? The driver had just finished dropping off his kids when his bus fell apart in Knob Hill. The driver was taken to the hospital where staff made the incriminating discovery. Take a look at this bus tonight as it sits in a tow lot. The rear axle still separated from the bus. That's the bus police say 36-year-old Ruben Gonzalez was driving when he dropped off kids at Zia Elementary. The bus was reportedly making its way back from the school to the company's parking lot when it lost its rear axle here, blocking traffic at Lead and Solano. When Albuquerque police arrived at the scene around 8.30, they said the driver didn't seem to be impaired. Gonzalez was taken to UNM Hospital with injuries, and a few hours later, hospital staff discovered meth on him. UNM police say Gonzalez then admitted to being a meth user. That's when UNM PD called APD to tell them this may be a DWI case. The problem? The reasonable time limit had passed for, a t for us to lawfully conduct a DWI investigation without violating his civil rights. We couldn't do that. They understood that. They also say there's no way to prove that he had meth on him or in his system when he was driving the bus because he could have ingested the meth in the five hours since the crash. Beal, the bus company that hired Gonzalez, says they did pre-employment drug testing on him, and they also conduct random drug tests at their company per DOT regulation. Owner Denny Beal wouldn't say when Gonzalez last had a random drug test, citing privacy issues. UNM police will be sending a complaint for possession of meth to the DA tomorrow. That will likely result in Gonzalez's arrest. He was still in the hospital with injuries as of this evening. Back to you. Okay, Tina, APS says if Gonzalez was indeed caught with meth, he will not be driving a school bus any longer. They said tomorrow they'll be sending a letter home to parents whose children were on that bus. As for why the axle came off, police say it appears to be just a mechanical problem with one of the joints. School buses are regularly inspected by law.